Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are creating this CMS application with Angular 10 and ASP.NET Core 3. In the last video tutorial, we created the admin area and we also created the home page view for the admin. So we are just displaying the admin home. We have not designed or created any styling for this page. We would be now implementing the some client side libraries that we would need to design this page. So we will be installing Bootstrap and other required libraries in this video tutorial. So if you haven't watched the previous video tutorials where we have created the admin area, I recommend you to go and watch that. And if you are just trying to install the client side libraries and you ended up watching this video, then you can find the source code for this tutorial up till this video tutorial on the DevOps repo that I have created and the link is in the video description. So let's go ahead and add the client side libraries that we would need. So we are going to use Bootstrap 4 in our application. So let's go ahead and install that. To install Bootstrap 4 in our ASP.NET Core application, we would need a package manager for client side application which is the Angular app, we are using NPM to manage our packages. But for backend, which is the admin panel build with ASP.NET Core 3, we are going to use Microsoft's package manager called as Libman, which is the short form for library manager. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and install a library manager. So let's do that. So to install Libman globally, we are going to open our terminal window. For those who don't know where the terminal window is located, you can use this search option and you can type in terminal and find it. Here in the terminal window, we will type in the command to install library manager globally as we did for node package manager, which is NPM. We have installed it globally. So we will also install library manager globally. The command to install library manager globally is .NET tool install dash dash global Microsoft dot web dot library manager dot CLI. I'll provide this command in the video description. Please note that for this command to work, you need to install .NET framework or .NET SDK in your machine. So if you haven't installed that, I recommend you to install that. Otherwise, this command won't work. You need to have .NET installed in your operating system. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And now we can see that the library manager has been installed and we can use library manager to install the libraries that we need. So now the next thing that we want to do is we will CD into our project folder. And we want to cd into the project folder which contains the .csproj file. So I'm going to go into. So this is my project folder and it contains my .csproj file. Here I will type in the command to install the libraries that I need for my ASP.NET Core project. So we need to install Bootstrap 4 and to install Bootstrap 4, we also need to install some other packages like jQuery, popper.js and make sure that these libraries are referenced before the Bootstrap, which I will show you how to do it. But we need these three libraries uh, in order for Bootstrap to work properly on our project. So let's go ahead and first type in the command to install jQuery. So since we have installed libben, which is the library manager package, or uh, we can use now the command which is libben install jQuery and hit enter. Now libben will ask us which provider we want to use. We will leave it as cdnjs. So I can hit enter. And now if you notice, there is a libman.json file created in the project. And the libman 
installer is asking us where do you want or where does it want the jquery file to be stored so for that i'm going to leave it as default as well and i'm going to hit enter so now the jquery package or jquery library is installed if i go to the libman.json file i should see the reference added for jquery and if i go to the www root folder and see there is a folder called as lib created with jquery inside it and i have jquery.js installed so now the next package that i need to install for bootstrap to work we need to install popper.js so let's install that libman install popper.js so we will leave the default options intact hit enter and now all the required files for popper.js have been installed and if we open the lib folder we should have popper.js and the reference for popper.js in the libman.json file let's install the final package that we need which is the bootstrap package itself so to install bootstrap we will type in the following command which is libman install twitter bootstrap at 4.5.0 I have specified the version over here because bootstrap has released a new alpha version version 5 and I just want to stick to the last known stable version also in version 5 we have no support for jquery so basically bootstrap has removed the jquery library from bootstrap 5 also it provides you you with some SVG font so you don't have to use font or some library you can use bootstraps own icon library uh, with alpha version 5 uh, we will wait to upgrade this project to version 5 till the stable version is released but for now I will stick to the last known stable version which is 4.5.0 and I will install that in this project so let's hit enter and i leave the options as default but i don't want this name to be twitter bootstrap instead i want to change it to bootstrap so let's do that so so let's hit enter and now bootstrap version 4.5.0 has been installed in our project and if you open the bootstrap folder we should have the required libraries and the references on the libman.json file so now we have successfully installed the required packages that we need to load bootstrap in our project so let's go ahead and try to edit the layout of our admin uh, view or admin area so go to the views and then the shared folder and open the admin layout and here let's try to reference the required styling so here inside the admin layout I'm going to add the references for the bootstrap styling and for the bootstrap scripts that are required to be loaded on the on all the pages so here to load all these style sheets from bootstrap or any other style sheets in my application that i need to be loaded on all the views i'm going to create a partial view for that so let's right click add a new file and here we are going to select a razor view option the razor view option and then we are going to name this razor view as underscore application header style partial i use this naming convention and it's partial at the end just to denote that this is a partial view so now I'm going to click on the new option and then create this partial view I'm going to get rid of all these comments I don't need it and here I'm going to add the code referencing all these style sheets that I need to be loaded on all the views of my backend admin application so inside this page I'm just going to add the files that I needed to be include it in the development when I'm in the development version of this application I need the uh, bootstrap.css version and when I am not in development I need to use the minified version of the bootstrap styling file so I'll save this and now I'll go back to the admin layout and here 
where I see this favicon tag, I will just under this favicon tag here, I'm going to reference that library and make sure that these styling from bootstrap loads. So here using the razor syntax, we are going to specify a weight HTML dot partial async and the name of our partial view, which is application header style partial. So it will await until all the files are loaded. So now the next thing that we want to do is add the reference for the bootstrap scripts or the UI scripts that we would need from bootstrap. So we will create a partial view called as UI scripts partial. Let's do that. So here let's go right click add new file select the razor view option add underscore UI scripts partial you can name these files anything you wish you don't have to follow follow my naming convention I'm just using this naming convention because it's easy for me to understand what files are supposed to include what documentation or what code so here I'm going to click new delete this code I don't need this and here I'll add the references to all the JavaScript files that need to be or the script files that need to be loaded in the backend admin views so here I have added the development and excluded what needs to be excluded in the non-development version so just make sure that when you are providing the source uh, that your files are located in the correct path if you while installing the packages if you did change the path make sure you provide the correct path of these files so now I will save this and now I can close the application header styles and UI script partial go back to the admin layout and here just above the add render section of the scripts I'm going to add await HTML dot partial async the UI scripts partial view that I just created to load all the bootstrap scripts so now uh, the references have been added let's add some sample code on the admin home page that we have created so let's go to the home page view just to test if bootstrap is working so let's go to the official website of bootstrap and in bootstrap version 4.5 I can check under components for whatever components that I need to use in my project for now we are just testing so let's go ahead and try to use the navs just to test if it loads on the home page so let's copy this navbar code And let's go back to the home page change this with a div and then let's paste this now about code over here now let's run our application and see if we can see some styling difference due to bootstrap library that we have added if not then we can fix it and if everything works fine then we can go ahead and start creating or styling our pages so the application is loaded let's go to the admin page of the application so the admin page is loading and here you can see the difference in the styling it looks that bootstrap has loaded let's check our console if we have any errors so a console doesn't have any errors bootstrap library has been loaded without any errors if I go back to the network tab and I check I have bootstrap files jQuery bootstrap popper JS all loaded which means that everything is working as expected and in the header we don't have any errors in the next video tutorial we will add the stylings for our pages if where we need to add custom uh, CSS we can use custom styling as well and I will show you that in the upcoming video tutorials so for now in this video tutorial what we have learned we have installed bootstrap library and the required packages to run bootstrap 4 in our project and using libman which is Microsoft's library manager so thank you for watching this video tutorial please go ahead and like and subscribe my channel tech howdy 
If you have any questions, use the comment section to find all the code that was used in this project. Refer to the description of the video description and you will find the link to the DevOps repo. Thank you.